Good evening, everyone. I hope you are having a beautiful, lovely, gorgeous Monday. It is Katie here coming at you live. Obviously, I am not in my regular office this week. Flew to Texas this past weekend where I will be staying for the remainder of the year. As you can see, I have a little bit of a sidekick for our, our training tonight. His name is Chewy. And he's about the cutest freaking dog in the world, if you couldn't tell. And he's a sleepy little baby, and so he's going to help me tonight um, tell and share with you guys all about our topic of the evening, which is the three pieces of content that you should be using, that you should be utilizing and posting on your social medias that makes salon and spa clients want to show up and buy, want to show up, pull out their credit cards, and spend lots and lots and lots of cash money with you. Isn't that right, Chewy? As you see, we're a little lethargic because we're a shih tzu and we run out of our energy really quickly. So he's going to go take a nap right beside me and I am going to yell at you guys for the next hour. So I hope you're super pumped for it. If you're watching me live, you know the drill. You can type in hashtag live down below. That way I know you're here, you're listening, and we can chit chat together. And if you are catching that replay, hi puppy. If you're catching the replay, type in hashtag replay down below. Um, that way I know you're catching my replay. That way I know that you're with me and you're listening and you're watching. With that said, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this live stream on my computer so I can see all of your comments coming in. We have Agatha who's live, Shauna who is live. Awesome. Love seeing your guys' faces. Additionally, you guys, if um, you are new here, if you've never been on one of these live streams before, if you've never had a chance to sit here and chit chat with me live before, go ahead and also share down below who you are, what you do, and where you're from so I can get to know you, your face, your name, and really, really pinpoint all these trainings, all the information that I'm sharing with you to you so that we can make sure that it is catered to you, your business, your area, and I can get to know you and answer all of the questions um, that you have when it comes to that. So, see, so we've got quite a few people on, so do not forget hashtag live down below if you're catching me live and hashtag replay down below if you are catching that replay. For those of you who are new here, hi, I am Katie. I am here once a week, every week on Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern time to share with you tips and tricks to help you grow your salon, your spa, or your beauty business. These are not just fluffy tips and tricks. It's not just random things, things that you can find anywhere on the internet. This is actual strategies, actual things that you can implement right here, right now, tonight, and moving forwards in your business that are going to yield you a new clientele, that are going to yield you a new result. And it's free. I'm here for free for you. Okay, good luck finding this anywhere else because I'm like the only person who does it, right? Right, okay? Um, especially I'm the only one giving out this good of content to you guys. So if you're not showing up every week, you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice, let me tell you, okay? Because there's lots of good details, lots of good info, and lots of good, most importantly, action items that you can be taking advantage of. So what are you doing? Take advantage of them. I wanna see all of you guys with notes, pads, and paper ready to rock and roll, ready to take notes and soak up all the goodness that you can start implementing ASAP to grow your salon, your spa, and your beauty business. Let's see, we have a few more people on. We have got Sunshine, who is hashtag live. This girlfriend is showing up every week. I'm so proud of you. We got Diana Kane. We have Carolyn Mai, who's live from Charlotte, North Carolina. So nice to meet you, Carolyn. We have Rula, who's live. Sean is tagging Jacqueline and Nicole. Love it. Um, Angie is live. She's a salon owner in the small rural Midwest. You guys, I got something about the Midwest. Why do we call it the Midwest if it's in the East? I don't get it. Okay, I get like when we first came over here, like, yeah, that was Westish, but now it's East. Why do we still call it the Midwest? Um, Rula said she does permanent makeup in Atlanta. Sorry, it's just a rant that pops into my head every time I hear the term Midwest because it doesn't make sense. It's in the East. Why are we calling it West? Um, but it's so nice to see all of your bright and smiley faces tonight. Um, if you have not already, lock down this time on your guys' calendar. Make sure that you're putting an appointment with yourself to show up with me. Because again, I'm here every single week for you, so you better be showing up for yourself, okay? 
As we are going through this training tonight, be sure if you're running across any strategy or any tip or trick that I share with you that you were, you're like, I want a little more info on that. I want to go deeper on that. Or maybe I mentioned a resource that you want access to or anything like that. Throughout the entire video, you can feel free to hashtag elite down below. That is the, the bat signal for my assistants to reach out to you and get you all the info, all the details, all the resources, trainings, et cetera, that you need to be successful, okay? So hashtag elite is our bat signal. It's what tells them that they can reach out to you, that they can give deliver you those resources and things of that nature. So with that said, I know 23 of you have not commented hashtag live down below. So I better be seeing it, okay? You gotta earn your way to the content. You gotta earn your way to the lessons. So hashtag live down below, cool? With that said, let's go ahead and let's dive right in. Topic of the night, three pieces of content that make people want to show up and buy, okay? Here's the thing. All too often over the years and years and years that I have worked with people in this industry, you know, they'll come to me, they'll go, Katie, I really need help getting new people to come to my business. Katie, I really need help getting new clientele in. Katie, I need help with that. And I'm like, okay, let's take a look at what we're working with first so we can come up with a plan on what we're gonna do. And all too often, I come across salon spa and beauty professionals who have maybe, if we're lucky, two to three pictures, quality pictures of their work or of them doing their work or any content at all of their entire business. They took a few pics of their space and what it looks like and they called it a day and said, okay, I'm gonna post those pics and we're gonna be done. So here, here's, the th here's what's wrong with that, okay? Would you ever go buy a house without having seen the house first? Type below a one, if you would never, ever, ever purchase money and give a realtor money for a house, if you had never, ever, ever seen the house before. And what about a car? Would you ever, ever, ever go purchase a vehicle of any sort without having seen it first, or at least seen the pictures and the specs of it. Comment down below, yes or no, if this is something you would do, or any major investment. What would you do? Would you go make one of those major investments? Would you invest in those things without having seen it first? I see Donna said no, meaning she would not go do that. Sabrina said, absolutely not. Carolyn said, nope, mm -mm. exactly, you guys. You wouldn't go do that, right? So how can we expect our clients to come invest literally hundreds of dollars, whether upfront or over the course of a year with us, without knowing or being able to see what we do or what it looks like, okay? Now, this isn't about giving them the service first and then like nothing like that but at least giving them the ability to see what you do and see what they can get before they get it. Don't you think that they would feel more comfortable to see the effects of your work before they get it, right? Like who would go drop even today, $600 on microblading when you've never seen not one photo of a microblader's work? I wouldn't, okay? Same thing with hair. I wouldn't pay a hairstylist who I did not previously see a photo of their work to know that they didn't do an ombre that just sliced right down the side, right? An esthetician. I wouldn't go see an esthetician who didn't have a proven track record that I could see. Those types of things. So why all too often are we expecting our clients to make buying decisions without having seen our work first, without having seen what we can do first? We can't expect that out of them, okay? So that said, Today, tonight, we are going to go over those three pieces of content that you need to be posting daily, daily, D-A-I-L-Y, daily, in order to score new clients and get them to show up and buy, okay? This is across the board. It's not just with your social medias. This is the type of content that needs to live all across your social medias, on your website, on any ads that you run. If you have any brochures ever, a business card even, any piece of marketing material that you put out there, these are the only three types of content that need to exist on them. The only, okay? First and foremost, before and afters, okay? That is the most obvious one, I would say, but it is one that so many people are lacking, okay? And we need to go a little bit deeper on before and afters because oddly enough, a lot of people do this wrong. And there are ground rules for before and afters that we need to follow, okay? So with before and afters, 
For one, you need to make sure you always have consistent lighting. Okay, if you take one picture at 8 a.m. and the next after picture at 8 p.m., it's not going to look authentic or real. Okay, so consistent lighting is 110% key on before and afters so they can actually see the transition. Taking it at the same angle and of the same portion of the body, okay? A before and after needs to be boom, boom, exact same position, exact same sizing of the body, all of that jazz, okay? So you have to be careful with how you're taking these. Additionally, a before and after alludes to the fact that there are only two photos. Many a times I see people making before and after collages of four or six or eight photos. No. Because when you do that, you put that buyer, that potential buyer in a position to try and be picking out what's a before and what's an after. That is the worst position you can put yourself in when they're having to decide what is the before work and what is the after work. When they're having to decipher that. You have to make it plain as day, simple as can be right in front of their face, okay? And the next one is with before and afters or even pictures of results or anything like that. The before always, 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 always goes on the left side and the after goes on the right. If we do it flip-flop, the mind itself reads left to right. That is what our mind is trained to do, to go from left to right as we are consuming any amount of information. So if your before and after is flip-flopped and your before is over here on the right and your, at, or your before is over here on the right and your after is over here on the left, guess what the mind's gonna do again? Just like with a collage of a million photos, it's gonna go, okay, wait, which one's the before and which one's the after? And it's gonna try to decipher that. Again, that makes your work not very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, desirable, because they're already having to decipher and try to pinpoint which is before and which one's the after, okay? So those are the major do nots with before and afters, and they're the number one mistakes that I see with it, okay? So what should a before and after be? Again, like I said, it should have good lighting, it should have clear and natural looking edits, okay? All too often I see people putting, oversaturating their photos, making them black and white, adding zebra print borders and hot pink text over it and all these different things. The more clean cut and simple, the better. Because, again, it makes the information before and after easier to consume. They're not having to decipher through your edits what it's actually going to look like on their face. The more natural it looks, the more that they can see it on themselves, okay? The more natural of lighting the eyebrows or the eyelashes or the hair is in, the easier that they can pinpoint what's that gonna look like on me when I get that done, right? Versus, okay, well, we put eight filters on this, so what's my actual expectation here, right? Um, or trying to see, you know, the, the brow hairs and whatnot through the filter or anything like that. Um, and then lastly, having a giant watermark or a giant logo on it. Now, I am not saying do not watermark your pictures or do not have your logo on your pictures. Um, I do know that there are thieves out there, but when you put the watermark or the logo directly across the eyebrows to make sure no one takes it and it takes up 90% of the photo, it doesn't look very professional, right? So you want to, if you are going to have a watermark or a logo in order to maintain um what's the word for it? Oh my God, I'm struggling. You know me every week. I'm struggling with words um, to, you know, keep people from stealing your before and after pictures. It should still be a modest um, watermark or a modest um, logo that is on it. So we have a couple more comments here. Sunshine said, awesome information. My business strives off of before and after pics. These tips are exactly what I needed. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. Anytime. I got you. Um, and Katana said, hashtag live. Oh, I just talked to you, baby girl. Um, so with that said, that is before and afters, okay? Before and afters and results. That is the first type of content that should be posted heavily. I mean, heavily on your social media. Before and afters. And pictures of results should make up more than 50% of what you are posting on social media because it is the number one piece of content that leads a client to making a buying decision, okay? Why do people do business with you? Why do people give you money for their hair, for their skin, for body contouring, for spray tans, for nails, etc.? They don't give you money just because they want the service. They give you money because they want the result. 
So the more that we can show them the result that we can achieve, the more willing they are going to be to give us money in exchange for that result, <laughs> right? Uh, so that is why that is more than 50% of the content we, that we need to be sharing. And we need to be sharing it daily, okay? That is the number one piece of content that gets people showing up and giving us money. It's the number one piece of content that people going, holy heck, I need that right then and there, okay? Second type of content. And you guys, as you're hearing this, as you're like consuming all of the information, if you have any questions, anything at all that you uh, need, you know, need clarity on or anything like that, you can comment down below whatever your question is. Words tonight, you guys, you can comment down below whatever your question is, and I will be more than happy to answer that. Um, Katana actually asked a really good question that this does help me get into the next one. Um, she said, what about if my, my business is 95% Brazilians? Girl, I feel you, okay? This is a question that has come up many, many times. Um, obviously, we cannot do before and afters of a Brazilian. That's called porn, okay? We can't be doing all that. But what you can do and what is going to be very helpful for you, Katana, is having your own clients share their experiences about your services because Brazilians, it's not just something you want to look nice. It is something that people have legitimate fears about and legitimate like concerns with. So the more that you can actually get video of your clients after the appointment sharing um, you know, what they felt about with the situation or, you know, their comfort levels, whether or not it hurt and things like that, that's going to be one of your bigger pieces of content to sell because hearing it from the client's mouth themselves on video is something that's going to help people make buying decisions for you. Amanda said, should I share only model pics or clients too? Clients too. Okay. Um, models are great because they can kind of get you kickstarted, but with you really want to be regularly taking content with your clients. You want to set the expectation with most of your clients, those who are comfortable, that when they come in to get a service, we're going to be taking photos and stuff the whole time, um, obviously to a degree where it's not invasive, right? Um, so we kind of want to juggle that fine line between invasive and kind of fun. Um, but you do want to be taking photos, videos, et cetera, with your clients. Um, Let's see, Bridget said, this is what I'm working on more consistently. Amazing, Shauna said, do you feel like hashtags are important on Facebook posts? No, not as of now, they're not very big on Facebook. Not a lot of people use them, not a lot of people search them, so no. Melissa said, someone asked on a model call why she wasn't getting paid to be a model and a free service. How would you reply to this? Um, okay, this is not how I reply to it, but home girl, you're not a Victoria's Secret model. I mean, come on, you're just some like local chick down the street, so chill with your bad self. Like that's what inner Katie would say. Outer Katie would simply say, you know, completely understand where you're coming from. You know, unfortunately this is how our business and most, um, you know, model calls in this industry do run. This model call is not for, um, entertainment purposes. This model call is simply for, um, marketing services and you get the pictures as well for yourself to use and you get, um, you know, a discounted service off of it. Uh, Kalia said, what would you charge for model calls? That's all dependent on you. Um, you could either just simply charge a service fee. So basically whatever the cost would be for the um, tools, instruments, products, et cetera, that you put into it and your time um, to go into it, you could charge that way. Or you could just give them a smaller discount, like 20% off or something like that. Um, <laughs> she said, haha, not a Victoria's Secret model. I mean, right. Honestly, at the end of the day, I'm just gonna say it how it is. Some people will say anything to try and get something for free. That's just the fact of the matter. There's a lot of people that will stretch and try to make you feel like a piece of crap for not giving them something for free and you just gotta not let it get to you. Like I've been there, done that, um, but you just can't let it get to you. You can't let it make you feel bad. Amanda said the client needs to sign consent. Um, not always, it definitely depends on your, your field of work. I know a lot of times with, uh, and it depends on your state, um, maybe body contouring or aesthetic services when you're showing their face, um, they might need to sign a consent form. Usually services like hair, um, nails, et cetera, they, they wouldn't need to sign a release. Um, Bridget asked a similar question, should you have the customer sign a release to post their pictures? Again, it just depends on your field. Um, you could even have it in your terms and conditions that any pictures or videos taken while in your place of business can be used. Um, for marketing purposes, but 
again, it's up to you and you will have to feel out your state laws on that one um, because it, it does differ from state to state as far as the privacy laws and all of that information. So feel it out with your state because I don't want to give you wrong info. But nonetheless, we had before and afters. We went over some things with model calls just now. Um, number two is pictures of an appointment in progress, okay? Here's the thing. If a client or a potential client goes to your social medias and they don't know what you look like, you're doing it wrong, okay? You can't always be behind the scenes, um, hiding behind the camera, just taking pictures of your clients. Because at the end of the day, that client is doing business with you, okay? And if you're an owner, they're doing business with your staff. So I know they say, don't judge a book by its color, cover, not color, cover, but we all do, right? I mean, that's just the fact of the matter. If we see a crappy salon, we're going to be like, oh my, eh, maybe not, right? Or if we don't necessarily think that we vibe with a certain per certain person, you know, we might not do business with them. But if I see someone who I'm like, oh my God, I would totally be best friends with that chick. Like, look at her shirt. It's so cute. Like we vibe with that and we feel more comfortable going into a place of business if we've seen what the staff and what the um, or the owner or the service provider looks like first. And it's not a matter of like, being just mental or anything like that. But even if it's someone who you normally wouldn't do business with, you still feel more comfortable walking through those doors if you know what they look like beforehand. Um, but we don't just wanna be posting a bunch of selfies of ourselves either, right? So the best way to make it to where the client would feel more comfortable coming to see you based off of seeing this stuff on social media and we're still showing off our amazing services and what we do is getting pictures and videos of us actually providing our services. So if you are a hairstylist, actually putting color on the hair, cutting the hair, doing the shampoo, you doing it. We want pictures and content like that. If you're an esthetician, pictures of you actually giving the facial massage, applying the peel, doing the micro needling. If you do nails, pictures of you actually doing nails, you doing it. Um, I could go on and on and on, but pictures of you actually providing the service makes potential clients more comfortable coming to see you, okay? EJ got it just right, action shots. That's exactly what we're going for. Um, but that makes, again, it, it allows the client or the potential client to be more comfortable coming to see you, okay? Now, I know, I know, I know, especially with my solos here, you're like, I work alone, Katie. What the heck do I do? Seriously, you're crazy. Oh my God, my fire's going out. That's so rude. <laughs> Anyways, um, like I know what you're saying, you know, you work alone and you don't think that you can do it. Really, really good tip is to go grab a, it's like $15 and it is a tripod from Amazon that can make your phone come up to like human level. So it can raise up to like four or five feet um, so that you can actually just prop that up. You can either take video of the whole service or you can throw that phone on a timer. Um, I probably would recommend the timer option with those clients who have like been coming to see you for like three, five years and are super comfy with you. Like, hold on girl, we gotta, we gotta do it for the gram. Snap that timer on and go take a picture of you posing with her hair and such. Um, and just kind of doing all that. Sorry, you guys, I had to get a notification out of there. Um, but that's, that's other options that you can use or you could go grab the other beauty pro across the hall. Um, have your husband come up, you know, have, have whoever. If your client brought their kid along, like, hey, Susie, you want to take a picture of me working on your mom real quick? I got to get over the gram, right? Um, but nonetheless, use your resources is the main point in that. You can either get a tripod, you can have someone help you out and things like that. Now, action shots are not a type of picture that needs to be taken every single appointment, right? Um, but maybe once a month or once every other month, just set aside one appointment to try and get some of those in, try and get some of those done. Um, but that helps the potential clients be more comfortable coming to see you because they actually see you working on a client before they come in. So that was number two. So to reiterate, the first type of content um, is before and afters or pictures of results. The second type of content is pictures of the appointment in, con in progress. Um, really good question. Bridget said, what kind of light are you using? Currently, uh, I can't take my phone off of it because girl, it took me like 10 minutes to get my phone on this stand. But regardless, uh, newer N-E, spelling, N-E-E-W-E-R <laughs> is um, the brand name. They have uh, big ones, they have little ones. So what I'm using right now, um, it's like $15 and it's this big-ish and it gives pretty good lighting. Right now I'm in like a dark living room and it gives pretty decent lighting in front of me. Um, they also have a bigger giant one that's like a hundred bucks. Um, but 
Again, if you want to splurge, it's a really great light. Um, I have both of them and they work really well. EJ said strobe lighting. No, no, EJ. We won't be doing strobe lighting because that, <laughs> that will not turn out good in your pictures, okay? But newer is definitely a really good brand and it's the one I prefer. They have always been the most consistent. They're durable. They hold up really well and they always give really, really, really good lighting. Um, so number three, which is my personal favorite and I want all of your ears open and listening because this is so important, okay? And it is videos of your service. So videos of your service being completed and provided. Now hear me out on this, okay? Because we're gonna go on a journey to get to the reasoning behind it. How many of you watch pimple popping videos or chiropractor videos or things like that in your free time, okay? I'm like letting it loose with how much of a freak I am. I love blackhead extraction videos. I love chiropractic videos. And I will watch those all day long, okay? The feeling that I have after I watch one of those is, oh my God, I need to go to an esthetician and I need them to get everything out of my face, right? <laughs> it's like, I just want it out. Like someone do it now, I gotta get it out of me. Or with the chiropractor back popping videos, I'm like, oh, I need a chiropractor yesterday. Like this looks like my back starts feeling tighter after I watch it. I'm like, I need a chiropractor right now. Oh my God. And the thing is, it's the same thing. It's the same effect with your guys' service, okay? I don't think you know this, but your services are really freaking desirable, okay? And there's different aspects of every single one of your services that make people literally, like they see a video of it and they're like, mm, I need that. I need it right here, right now. For example, um, an esthetician that we ran an ad for about two years ago, she had a very simple video. She literally got one of those uh, little phone stands that I told you about and just propped her phone up right above her client's face uh, during the appointment. It was very non-invasive. It was a little bit off to the side. So, you know, the client didn't feel any pressure or anything like that. It was just kind of over to the side. Um, and she just filmed her doing the gua sha facial massage on the client. We ran that with her ad. I'm talking, there were over 200 comments on the ad of people going, I need this. Where do I sign on? How much is it? How do I book? What do I do? Over 200 comments within two months of people quite literally begging for the service, okay? This didn't even show the effect of the service. It didn't even say what type of facial this little girl got. It didn't say anything. All it showed was the simple gua sha massage, gua sha massage of the face. And people were literally like, give it to me. She wound up booking 41 appointments the first month and about 40 appointments the second month with that one ad. All because of that video, okay? Because that is what got the attention that we needed to book that many appointments. Um, furthermore, body contouring. We had a body contouring specialist who did cryo skin. And you know, of course, everyone wants to show if they're before and afters, before and afters, before and afters. We took a different angle. She shot a video, 30 seconds, of simply her rubbing the cryo skin machine on the stomach area. Ran that for the ad, same thing. People just blowing up the comments going, need it, need it, need it, what is this? I need this done, etc." cetera. Why do people do that, right? What is, what brings us to do that? When we see something that is so desirable being performed on someone else, it kind of elicits that feeling of like being there with like everything but the touch. You know how like you have like 3D and then 4D? It's almost like being there in 3D. Like you can hear it, you can see it, like you can see it in action and you can like everything but feel it. And your body just like wants it in that moment. You're like, I need this facial massage. Like you start trying to do it on yourself. Like it's a whole psychological breakdown that the whole brain has when you see something so desirable and you're sensing everything but the actual touch and the actual feeling of it. And it makes people want to just drop everything and book right then and there, okay? Another example, esthetician a week ago posted a time-lapse video of her doing an entire facial on a client. Okay, that she had over 10 comments of people going, when do I book? How do I book? Where do I book? Give me the details. Let's talk about it, okay? That type of content gets people literally pulling out their wallets and going, take all my money because I need this. Need this service right here, right now. 
And that's just the fact of the matter. That type of content will push you so much further. Between posting before and afters, pictures of you providing your service, and actual video content that makes them almost feel like they are in the room, you would be unstoppable, okay? These are the only three types of content. I won't say the only, but the main three types of content that you should have to promote your business, okay? There's so many times I've seen people post the Canva graphics that they spent eight hours making, you know, the one for fall with the fall leaves behind it and all the words for their latest promotion. It doesn't work. That will not yield you a result, okay? Or the Ripple, our IPL videos that you can make on your phone that are like these promo videos and they have all these slides and they move to all the info that you need people to know. Those don't work, okay? Or pictures of your empty space because you thought it just looked so cool and cute and clean and professional. But the thing is, without another human being in it, it's not desirable, right? So I see all the time people posting things like this or you know just pictures of their logo and things of that nature. That doesn't yield you an appointment, okay? What yields you an appointment is eliciting that emotion from a potential client that makes them wanna pull out their wallet and buy, okay? A Canva graphic with a bunch of words on it that just talks about your latest special and discount doesn't elicit that emotion out of that client. A picture of your empty salon doesn't elicit that emotion out of that client. A picture of your logo does not elicit that emotion out of your client. What does elicit emotion out of your client is for one, seeing the results of what they can expect. Number two, seeing you performing the service again so they know what to expect. And number three, seeing a video of you actually doing that service so they can feel everything but it and they are literally jumping at the opportunity to book an appointment with you. EJ said, does your video need to have sound or is it without sound okay? I hate my voice, that's why. EJ, I talk like I am 12. I literally talk like I am 12 years old, okay? I was at a job one day, like two, three years ago, I answered the phone and they were like, oh, honey, is your mommy or daddy there? Okay, I don't wanna hear none of you say that you hate your voice because I hate my voice and I'm right here on this video talking to you every single Monday, okay? Do not get self-conscious about things like that because it will only hold you back. Donna said, wow, I've done all of these. Oops, I feel you because like 90% of the industry does these and there's so many industry gurus and educators and whatnot out there who tell you that's what you're supposed to do. But there's zero psychological basis for that actually yielding you an appointment. All it does, especially the Canva graphics, is it draws them to the deal, not you. It draws them to the promotion, not you, okay? Um, Katana said she's guilty. Cal, Ka girl, I'm sorry, I'm trying with your name. Kalia, I believe, said, I don't have much clientele, so I use Canva posts for fillers in between. Should I stop? They're okay for fillers, but I would not allow them to be more than maybe 10% max, and I would still try to weed them out. The more clients you get, the more content you'll get, and the more you can weed those out, okay? A big reason why a lot of the gurus, experts, educators, whoever, try to say to do this is because with things like Instagram, they'll make your profile look cleaner. Um, you know, they'll make it look, you know, you'll have your nice little pattern and all that going on, but a pattern will not yield you a client. So if your goal of posting on social media is to look cute, Sure, keep on with the Canva graphics, but if your goal is to get clientele out of it, which should be your goal, um, you know, we need to stop trying to get cute, okay? There's no Instagram pattern or flow to what you're doing that's gonna yield you a client. No one's gonna go there and be like, this Instagram doesn't have a pattern to it. I'm not doing business with them. And said no one ever. No one ever said that. No one's ever gonna say that, okay? But there are people who will go to an Instagram and go, this girl has literally no photos of her work. There's no way in hell I'm giving her money. Guarantee you that's been said more than a hundred times in the past, okay? So all that said, let's go ahead and refresh real quick. The three types of content that make people want to show up and buy are before and afters and results, pictures of your service in progress, you specifically providing it or your staff, and number three, videos of your service in action. I can't tell you when I, I've seen a video 
of a head massage at the bowl. It has nothing to do with the color going on the hair or the cut or anything like that. I've just seen the head massage at the bowl between the color and the cut. And it has literally been like, oh my God, when can I book the appointment? Because that I need that level of relaxation right now. Um, Kalia said, you said it right. Thank you. Thank you. I tried. I learned with phonics. Sunshine said, I find the more real the content I post, especially with before and afters, with my pedicures, the more attention they draw. Yes. The over editing and all that stuff, people are honestly getting sick and freaking tired of it, to be completely honest. The type of content that converts into money in your pocket is the more raw and real content, not the over edited crap. Okay. Here's another reason why I say this. If you guys go look at even our own marketing with Real Beauty Bosses, you'll notice it's usually not some over edited crap. It's usually me pressing this button right here, going live, just yelling at the camera for five to 10 minutes and then dipping out. Or, you know, it's pictures of just life and stuff like that. It's not over edited, you know, crazy graphics or anything like that. We steer clear from that because we know it doesn't convert, right? We know that me just posting a bunch of studio pictures with, you know, me just sitting here with my arms crossed, it's not gonna get you to know, like, or trust me, right? No, what's gonna get you to know, like, and trust me is you knowing how much money I've made other people, right? <laughs> is you knowing how many appointments that I can book you? Is me actually booking you some appointments before you ever do business with me, right? That's the type of stuff that's gonna get you to trust me. And it's the same concept for your own clients. Your clients aren't gonna come do business with you just because your salon looks really good empty or because you're really good at Canva and your fall promotion looks really good with those um, fall leaves backgrounds. Like, no, that's not gonna get them to know, like, and trust you. What's gonna get them to know, like, and trust you is to see what the heck you can do. Um, Bridget said, yep, so tired of the overdone filters. Exactly. It's not real. People know that. Okay. If you're over face tuning everything, like people are going to know it's not real. Like it's okay to do a little bit of touch up, but when you get to the point where you're distorting the whole image, it makes people not trust you. Donna said, do you add much dialogue and a bunch of hashtags with the videos and the posts? So there's two different ways that you can do it. Um, you don't want to over talk and over explain everything. Um, so a majority of the two types of captions that we like to do for one, you like to have a hook. Um, <laughs> well, I just saw Amanda's comment. I I'll get to that in a second, but it just kind of sidetracked me. Um, but with the, with the captions, you can either go what we call a story form, which is where you, you know, you say something very interesting about the image. You share a little bit about maybe that client's journey and you share like a little story about what they went to, you know. Carrie's been coming to see me for three years. You know, she previously put tons and tons and loads and loads of box dye in her hair. Her hair was so damaged. And we've actually been working, you know, really hard these last couple months to really get her hair healthy and amazing. And, you know, now she walked out of the salon today and she's never felt more confident in her hair and how it looks. It has life to it again. Um, and you know, Carrie loves it. If you know someone else, or if you were someone else, uh, you know, could use a hair makeover like Carrie did, you know, go ahead and comment down below. Let's get you taken care of, right? It's more of a story post kind of goes around to it. Um, and it walks through Carrie, my imaginary person's journey, um, of, you know, what, what it took to get there. Right. And so the thing with that is people actually, they, they see themselves in the story, right? Um, so other people who are struggling with damaged or lifeless hair would go, oh my God, this girl can help me with that. Right. She, they don't just see a before and after they actually read about the fact that you can help them with that. The other way of it is simply just a quick one liner that alludes to the service and goes. So check out this amazing balayage job. If you know someone else, who would love a beautiful balayage like this one, you know, tag them below. Or if you or someone else could use an amazing balayage job, uh, comment down below, something like that. A quick one-liner instead. Um, but nonetheless, you notice the consistency between both of those is that they both said, comment down below if you're interested in XYZ, right? It didn't say, go to my booking link, go to my website, click the link in the bio. I'm not directing them anywhere else. I'm directing them right below the photo. And then myself or one of my staff will go follow up with them and let them know what's up, right? We don't want to send them on a wild goose chase in order for us to help them. We want to give them the quickest way possible to let us know that they would like more information or that they are interested in this. And then we take it from there and guide them to where they need to go. Cool. 
Um, so to get to the comment um, that kind of took me off track, whew, Amanda said, waxing cannot be relaxing. It's pleasurable, but it's not relaxing, right? I would argue that chiropractor's appointments can't be relaxing either. They can be, maybe, but they kind of scare me too because your entire back is getting cracked up and down, right? But the idea of it isn't that it's relaxing, it's that it solves a problem, right? I would assume that getting a crap load of blackheads extracted out of your face probably isn't relaxing, but it is something that when you see it getting done, you're still like, oh my God. Now, of course, again, I will say, we are not taking any videos of wax and hoo-hahs because that is porn and we're not doing it, okay? But underarms, arms, etc. That actually is a video that makes me want to do it, right? Um, I love, okay, you guys, I'm just letting you know how much of a freak I am right now. It's fine. Videos of like nose hair, <laughs> waxing nose hairs, okay? Love them. Love it, okay? I've seen loads and loads of videos of um, the hot wax going on the arm and then them doing the peel back. Love it. And it makes me want to go get a wax so bad, okay? Even if it's not a certain area. Like even it being on the arm or the nose or maybe the cheeks or anything like that, it's like, yes, oh my God, give it to me all day, every day. Okay, just don't show the client's face so you're not showing them in pain just in case they are, okay? But just on the skin only, if you could just show a video of that all day long, all day long, I would probably binge your videos and then book an appointment with you. Um, Donna said, gotcha, thank you, you're welcome. Aaron said, hi, Katie. Hello, how you doing? Um, Michelle said, what or how would you recommend building my lash business? Um, well, first and foremost, I would start with the type of content you're posting because people actually have to be attracted to you to do business with you. Um, so again, to reiterate our three pieces of content of the night, the types of content that get people actually showing up and doing business with you, before and afters or results, pictures of you actually providing your service and videos of your service being provided 110%. Um, if you don't have that type of content, a good way to get it is to run a model call, bring in two or three models for, again, you can either charge just at um, service cost or you can actually just do like a 10% discount or anything like that for them, just a small little incentive to get them in um and do it that way and you know bring them in on the basis of we're going to be doing uh pictures videos all that stuff of our service um so that you can get the content to post to attract people to your service um ej said are sarcastic one-liners okay like when you stray you pay um i don't know what that means so you'd have to elaborate in the in the description a little bit on what you meant by that um but it's totally okay if they at least know what you're talking about. Sandy said, those nose hair videos are so satisfying. Does it make me want to do it? No, it kind of makes me want to do it. I saw one today and I was like, okay, this is like odd, but I like would put myself in that pain, honestly, to go through with it. Like it's so satisfying. Um, especially if you see someone local having done it and you know that they're local. Um, Sunshine said, what about messenger? Should we have them direct message us? Sometimes we get messages in the middle of the night or at two or four conversation at a time. Should I just limit it to them commenting below and follow up with them from there? So the fastest way for them to tell you that they are interested is by having them comment below. You can always just give both call to actions, you know, comment below or DM me if, you know, you're interested in this, um, type of thing. But again, the best way you're going to be able to harvest those people is to have them comment and then take all those people and start the conversations with them. It's almost like a list that you can work off of. So it keeps things very, very organized. Um, so you can just kind of go off that list and see how many of these people have booked that have commented on my thing. Um, it's usually the, the easiest way to do it. With that said, you guys, um, if you want, we actually have a entire resource over um, how to get uh, 31 days of content in 24 hours. So literally how to take like one client appointment and turn it into enough content for your social medias for 30 days. Um, it's a great, great resource. If you want access to that resource, go ahead and type in hashtag elite down below and I'll have my assistant reach out and chit chat with you about that particular resource. Um, it's beautiful, it's amazing, and I finalized it last week and it rocks. EJ said, when you stray, you pay. 
um, is you straying away from me, you'll get your karma if you go somewhere else. Okay, that might be a hair on the rude side, I'm just saying, but it might be. We may wanna come up with something different. Sandy said, I want to try nose hair waxing on my husband. LOL would be like therapy for me. I feel that. Katana said, hashtag elite. Um, Kalia said, what's the hashtag again? It's hashtag elite. Lots and lots of hashtag elites coming in down below. I will let my assistants know to reach out to you so that you guys can get access to those things because I'm telling you they rock. And if I do say so myself, I did just wrap up completely overhauling them and updating them. So you can look out for that. Thank me later. Um, with that said, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed tonight. If you did, I want you to type a one down below and let me know you enjoyed this. I definitely want you guys to go take action on all of the content that I gave you guys tonight. This information is nothing without action. You have to actually do it if you're going to yield the result of it. So what are we no longer going to do? No more wasting hours on our, on hours on hours doing those Canva graphics. No more posting over-edited photos and anything like that. Say hello to my mother. She's starting that fire again because it went out. Um, no more of any of that, okay? We are staying focused and we are only posting, or a majority posting, these three types of content. Before and afters or results, pictures of your appointment in progress, and videos of you doing it. Shauna said she's so pumped for Elite 2.0. For those of you who did not know, we are doing a complete overhaul of our Real Beauty Bosses Elite program. It is all hot off the press, brand new information that I cannot wait for all of the current Elite members to get access to. If you want information on Elite 2.0, you can also hashtag Elite down below. I'll have my assistants reach out, but I'm telling you, holy hot mama jamma, I just wrapped up just the first module, just filming the first module of Elite 2.0, and this information is just psychotic. It's amazing, and I cannot wait for you guys to get access to it, so hashtag Elite down below if you want more info over Elite 2.0, the completely new upgraded version um, that is literally landing people loads and loads of appointments, loads and loads of cash money in their pocket, even during COVID. We have people in California right now who are still booking, still making money, still making cash flow and revenue even while shut down. So we wanna make sure you guys are set up for success. We wanna make sure you guys have access to the latest information, the most up-to-date information that is going to yield you the greatest result, the fastest result, appointments on your books, money in your pocket. So take or take action on the things I told you tonight. Hashtag Elite down below if you want access to Elite 2.0. And put this time on your calendar for next week so you can show up with me because there's only 30 tonight and that's a little rude, okay? We went from 90 to 30. You people, get it on your calendar, okay? So with that said, I will talk to you guys next week.